Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited today to talk to you about baby sign language. I am going to tell you kind of how we have incorporated infant sign language into Denver's daily routine. It's something that I think is really important and can be really helpful in aiding them in communicating before they can really say the words. Um, and it's also something that I am making this video to remind myself to do it more often. I think sign language and teaching your baby sign language is something you need to be really diligent and consistent about and there's definitely times where i slack on it but i'm going to tell you what signs we are using and how we incorporate them into every single day so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the sign tell you what the sign means and then i'm going to give you an example of how we would use it um, i was first interested in sign language, my cousin told me that they did it with their baby and how helpful it's been for them. So I started looking on YouTube and kind of looking up what infant signs to use and there wasn't a ton of helpful information. So I wanted to make this video because I think it would be helpful for people to be able to watch one video, see the signs, see them in action, and kind of give like a mini little like introduction into sign language. So I do not by any means am I a professional or expert on sign language of any kind. Um, so these signs might not be perfect, but they work for us. And I think the biggest thing is teaching your baby signs that you and your family understand. So even if it's not perfect or it's not the exact sign that it's supposed to be. If you know what it means, your family knows what it means, and your baby knows what it means, then that's perfect. Find something that works for your family and be consistent at it, and I think that will, it will really benefit you in the long run. So starting off, an easy one is hi and bye. So we do this every time we see somebody new or somebody leaves the house. Um, if Seth leaves, even if I leave the room, I'll wave to her and say bye. And when I come back, I'll say hi baby, things like that. Um, so that's an easy one. She has, she kind of does this a little bit. So um, sometimes if I feel like she's trying to wave, then I'll, you know, kind of do this or kind of do this so she can get a good idea of, you know, that this means like you're greeting somebody. The next sign that we use very, very frequently is more. So more is when you put your hands together. So we say more. This one's really, really easy to incorporate while we're eating. I have her in her high chair. I'll give her some food and she likes to yell a lot or she'll say ma, 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 ma when she wants more. So I'll look at her and I'll say more. Do you want more like this? and she will get really excited and she'll smile and i know that she understands that i'm telling her okay you know this means that you're gonna get more and then i'll give her more food um, before we start eating i try to sign to her eat do you want to eat and i'll ask her does she want to eat and i'll put her in her high chair so she realizes that this only happens when she's in her high chair when she's eating Another one that we like to use when we're eating is drink. So as if you were like lifting a glass up to your lips, drink um, to signify water. This is one that she has not picked up on a lot. We don't use it as frequently as we should because she's only seven months old right now and um, we haven't incorporated a ton of water into her meals. So uh, we try not to give her too much but this is what we will be using more often um, now that she's drinking a little bit more water. The next one that we use, especially during eating times as well, is all done. So turning your hand away, saying all done, all done, um, kind of by your face. This is one that I think she really understands like more. Those are probably the top two that she understands the most um, because we do use those the most frequently. When she's done eating, sometimes she'll just yell like really loudly. And so I'll look at her and I'll say Denver and try to get her quiet. And then I'll say, all done, all done. And then once again, she gets really excited and she smiles and she stops yelling. And she understands that yes, that means that I don't want any more. Like I wanna be done eating. I wanna get out of my high chair. So sometimes I try to do that um, in other situations where when we're nursing and um, she's done nursing and sometimes she'll kind of like thrash around and she'll try to sit up and I'll, and I'll say, are you all done? And then she calms down because she knows that I'm not gonna force her to keep eating if she doesn't want to. The other two that we have been using um, that we are starting to incorporate a little bit more that she has um, better motor skills is please. So kind of rubbing your chest in a circle, please. And I'll say, um, for example, if she's playing with a toy, I'll say, can I have your toy, please? You know, please. And then I'll take the toy from her and then I'll say, thank you. 
and telling her thank you for giving me the toy and then I'll give her the toy back. So kind of teaching her sharing, teaching her to say thank you when somebody um, does something that you're asking, um, things like that. So, and it's kind of like rewarding her, like you did a good job, you know, thank you for listening to me type of thing. Um, and please is something that, um, it's kind of hard for her to see this one. She's looking all around and if I ask her to do something and I say please, I don't think she necessarily is associating what I'm doing because it's so close to my body, whereas more or all done, um, things like that, or you know, high, they're more away from my body and bigger movements for her to see. And then the last sign that we are using is milk. So milk, kind of like you're milking a cow basically, um, milk, and that means milk or nursing, um, depending on how you use it. If you had a bottle, um, you would use that for milk. So those are the signs that we use. I know that there's a ton more. There's signs for bath time and you know tired and things like that. And I wanted to start off with the basis. Um, I think that these signs kind of cover a lot of the main areas of her needs, things that she needs to happen. And I can read when she's tired, so it's easy for me to figure out when she needs to go down for a nap. But sometimes if she is really hungry and she wants solid food versus milk, then those are the things that she can help communicate to me. So I'm really anxious for her to start signing. She, The only thing she's done is wave. She has waved a couple of times. Um, she has not signed anything else, but she is only seven months. And we started this when she was about six months old. So. I hope that this video is helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions or if there's a sign that you guys use that you think has been really, really helpful, please let me know. And um, I think that if I find that it will fit with our lifestyle, then I will probably add it to the list of the signs that we use. So thank you so much for requesting this video. I love being able to listen to the things that you're like, ah, I don't know, you know, I've seen you do this before, you know, can you explain it a little bit? I love, love, love that and being able to interact and I hope that you enjoy it too. So thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I post videos all about motherhood and just like real life and raising babies. So have a great rest of your week and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Just make sure that you're watching your portions, um, you're eating reasonably and you're trying to put the most amount of healthy food in your body as you can. So I usually start off my mornings with something like oatmeal and fruit or a green smoothie. I love having like a smoothie bowl in the morning for breakfast.